So if this question comes up in your interview, how you will solve this and what approach you will take, I will show you in this video. But before that, I just need to say you, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe for this kind of lead code related videos. And I have also created a complete playlist for strings related questions that are asked in the top images. You can have a look here. Okay. So let's start the video without wasting any time. Sum of beauty of all the strings means if I give you an example, the string is A, 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 B, C. C. Like this kind of string will be given to you. So what is the maximum occurring character in this? That is A. Definitely A. So I can simply write A means 3 is the count of it. And what is the least occurring character in between this? That is this 1. That is B. Right? Because this is the minimum. Because C is repeating 2 times. So I can simply write 3 minus 1. Is it valid? For valid, it should be at least 1. Okay. Or more than 1 it should be. But it should not be 0. If it is 0, then it is an invalid case. This string is valid. So what we'll do? We'll increase our counter to 1. Maybe we'll store a counter. We'll increase the counter. Then we'll check for the inner string. Like that we have to go through all of that. Okay, some more example like there can be this kind of situation. Triple A and triple B. So you may be thinking what will be the answer. So here in this case, the maximum occurring is 3. The minimum occurring is 3. So it will be 0. So this string is invalid. So we will not increase our counter at this case. Okay. So we have to handle this kind of cases. And if there are some different string like ABCD is there, so minimum is 1, maximum is 1, again, we'll not consider this string. So what we'll have, we'll have our answer equals to 0, which we'll return at last. That will be our final answer. In the middle, what we will be doing, we will be first, we have to iterate from starting to ending. So for that, what I can do, I can use a for loop less than s dot length i plus plus. This is the simple thing what I have to do for iteration. And every time I will iterate, I have to get the count of this. So whenever we get a question like count, what we comes to our mind, that is hash map. We can use the hash map to store the character and the corresponding count. So what I can do here, I can take let uh, hash map equals to new map. So this will be our map structure. What we can do, we have to first of all check it for the string. Okay. So what I can do, I can start here for let j equals to i because it will start from that same position where right now my i lies. Means it will stand at some point this, we, we should not check the back string because already the back string we have checked. So we only need to check the future strings like further string what are coming. Like if I am standing at B, so I will check for B, C, B, C, B, but I will not check for A, A, B because that is previous. Okay, so that thing we have to handle here. So I can simply write J is less than S dot length and simply we can do J plus plus as we need the count of it. Note my words, we need count. So for that reason, we have to do like this. If has map, this has map, it has our string. If it has our string, then what we'll do and if it does not has, what we'll do? If it does not have, it's very simple. We can simply do has map dot set. And what we'll set? We'll set that character and then we'll have an initial value of one because that character is not there. So initially we'll have one. If that character already exists, then what we'll do? We'll simply first let me copy this and paste it here. And here at this place, what I can do? I can write hash map dot get of s of i. First it will get the s of i, what is there. And then it will do plus one with that. Everyone's understanding I'm writing like this, but I can further optimize it. Okay. So see here, what can happen? Hash map dot get whatever is there previously, then we are storing one to it. Extra we are adding and storing on that same place we are storing. Okay. This thing is done. What we have to do, we have to then compare every time whenever we are checking for this string, we are checking for this string, we are checking for this string. What we have to do, we have to every time check the least occurring and the most occurring. For that, we can have a simple function here. We can write const min max equals to get min max count so we can have a function and there we can pass our hash map so what it will do this function this function will get our minimum occurring and maximum occurring so let me declare it const this it will get the map we can initially have min equals to infinity infinity highest capital and maximum equals to minus infinity so I am writing this because it will be changed. Even if it is 1, then also these two values will change. So for that, what I can do, I can iterate over this map. Uh, I will first have a key and then I will have value. I am using for of loop in JavaScript to iterate over the map. And then I can simply write min equals to math dot min, whatever the min value is there. First check the min. If it is less than min, then only you have to update that with the value. If that is not the case, if you are getting max, so update with, with the max. Simple thing I am doing here for updating min and max. And at last, we will return min and max both the things we are returning and we are these by using restructuring we are also so whatever we are returning here we are easily getting it here so at last what i can do is simply i can write answer plus equals to as maximum is greater so i can write max minus min because at last we have to return the sum of this we don't have to return the valid strings we have to return the sum at last what is the sum of the numbers like this becomes two so similarly how many strings are there and what is the total sum of this so if i run it so here you can see if I'm getting zero, that means some minor mistake maybe I've done. Okay, so here what I'm doing, I'm using i, but it should be j. Okay, every time I have to replace this with j. Here also with j I have to replace. So then if I run it, 
So you can see our test case has passed. So now if I submit this, so you can see our submission is accepted and it passed 57 test cases. So for this kind of interesting coding related videos, please subscribe our channel and like this video if you got to know something. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching.